Hey guys, in this lesson, we show you how to draw a house using two-point perspective in Anime Studio. Last week, we took a look at how to create one-point perspective in Anime Studio. Now, we're going to apply similar methods to create two-point perspective to craft a house. That way, we can have this in a scene and you can build more upon it in your own cartoons as you start to get more familiar with how to create perspective. So first, from the original lesson, we have this vanishing point. And if you need to see that original lesson, you can check out the annotation. We're going to duplicate that vanishing point and we're going to put both of the vanishing points into a group layer. This will allow us to control it easier as we move forward with the lesson. So you have your two vanishing points. We're going to create now a second layer for the horizon line, just because we lost that before. And with your add point tool, we're just going to draw across like this for the horizon and create a shape. So now with the two vanishing points, we can take one of them here Let's take this one and we can take the translate point tool and just move it up so that we can match the horizon line just like we did last week and the same for the second one here but let's reduce the line width here just so it's easier to see and we'll move the horizon point or the vanishing point up to that point right there. So now we can move this so we have two points here and we can even detach this completely just so we don't have it touching and we can move it let's say over there. So those are our two points now that we'll be vanishing towards and we can now make a new vector layer and we can name this one. Let's see here. Well Let's just draw a rectangle right now. We'll come back to naming that one in here in a second. And we will color this rectangle a tan color. That's going to be the color of our house. Now, what we can do with that vanishing point is we can move the points so that they match the corners of the house here, the back corners. So that one right there. And then that one right there. Now this is familiar with one point perspective if you followed last week's tutorial. So, so far so good. But now what we're going to do here is come in here with this layer. Let's rename it right now to house. And we can now come over here and adjust the corners. So we'll move this corner down and this one up. You can hold and shift and go up to do this so you don't move horizontally. And so you have now one side of the house. We can now take the second vanishing point here. Just kind of move in. Kind of try to match those points as close as possible on the top and bottom. So you can see now where we're intersecting between the two vanishing points. And that will be now the guide for the second wall. So we can go into the house layer and just draw out these lines based on the vanishing points. You can go as long as you want, just depends on how you want to approach it. We can go down like this and over like that. We can select that wall to create a shape. Of course, we don't want it to be dark green. So we can make it the same color as the first wall but then go in and darken it a little bit like that. And so we are now good to go with the walls. We will need a roof though for this house. So in order to do that, we will need to make two new layers to kind of help out with this process. And you'll see why here in a moment. And we can hide this group layer at any time to get rid of the vanishing points if you just want to see the house itself. But let's make a new layer here. It'll be vector and we'll name this one 
roof. So now, again, we'll need some guides because it's, how would you know here? You could come in here and you could try to draw a roof, you know, however, you're not going to get the perspective right if you just go in and try to do it right like that. So we'll need to create some guides for this. So what we can do here now is we'll go into the new layer here, choose vector, and we'll name this one X. You can just put X into the field. The second layer will be named line. So you have X and line. So on the X layer, what we're going to do here, we can hide the other guides, is just come in here and draw a line from one corner to the other. It can go even out a bit if you want, just as long as they're lined up with the corners. And the same for the other corner. Just go like that. Okay. So we can make this a shape just so we can see what's going on here. Now for the line, you're going to draw a line right down the middle where you have these two references intersecting. So you can just kind of come in here. It's going to be a vertical line going up like this and down like that. So we can create that shape. So we're good to go there. And now you can move that line up as far as you want. It basically depends on how high you want your roof. So on the roof layer, we can come up like this. And again, you can put the roof wherever you want. You could use that, the tip of the guide if you want, or you can just kind of eyeball it within that line guide. And then you can just bring your shape in like so. And then we can create the shape. And we'll want to make it the same color as the wall here. So we can hide those guides, select that shape, use the eyedropper, and we can even hide the lines now for the roof and for the house that are making up that shape just so it looks a little bit more seamless like that. So now we'll need to build the other side of the roof. We can bring our vanishing points back and it's really a simple matter here of just taking your points here. We can move one point up like so. And then the bottom point here can come up, let's say about right there. So what we can do here now, and this will depend, you'll have to do some eyeballing with this, but let's go into the roof layer. We'll draw out the roof to go right about here, down, and then we'll want it to come back like so. We can fill this in and we'll have to make some adjustments here. First, let's color this so that it's darker like the wall it's connected to. And then you can see we're not quite connected, first of all. So what we can do is take that vanishing point and move it up so we can get a more accurate picture here of what we should do. Go to the roof and then move it down a bit. And we might even want to move it over. Now you could go you know, far over like that and stuff. This is kind of more of an eyeballing situation. But if we hide those vanishing points, we can kind of see what's going on here. It doesn't look quite right. So what you can do then is you can just move your roof point back like that, maybe right about there, and then move the top one in like so. And that's going to look better. That's going to look like how we want it to look. So now you have a basic house. And from here, you could, of course, go in and add windows, doors, and so forth, just using the vanishing methods for two-point perspective. So by the time you're done, you'll have a scene that is in perspective. Doing it otherwise can be pretty difficult. But we've shown you one-point perspective, and this is two-point perspective. If you'd like more tutorials on Anime Studio, Flash, and more, please visit the official Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. We are also on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+.
My name is Chad Trofgerman. I narrated this tutorial and Jim Mills recorded. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.